Hola everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesus and this is Weirdo Beauty. For today's makeup video, I'm going to show you how I did this solar system inspired makeup look. I know Abri Artistry and James Charles have done looks similar to this on their TikTok and Instagram. So shout out to them for giving me some inspiration for this look and I'll leave links to their looks in case you want to check it out. The first step I do is to prime my face and I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer taking a fingertip amount and applying it to my cheeks and a bit on my nose to blur out my huge pores so you don't see a bunch of black holes in my solar system. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera so this video won't be an hour long, but if you want a separate video on my eyebrows let me know. First I'm going to work on my eyes since it'll be an easy look, plus I don't want to get follow on my solar system. I'm taking a small piece of clear tape and applying it at a 90 degree angle next to my eye so I can have a nicely defined line of my eyeshadow look. For eye primer, I'm using the Nude Milani Eyeshadow Primer and applying it using the e.l.f. Flat Eyeliner Brush since my eyelids are oily and I don't want my eyeshadow to crease. Next, I'm taking the Black Sephora 12 Hour Waterproof Eye Pencil in the color Suede Shoes and first drawing a pretty big wing using the tape as a guide. Then I'm connecting that black into my crease and filling it in the rest of my eye until I look like a raccoon. When I'm done, I remove the tape, and with the e.l.f. eyeshadow smudger brush, I'm first blending out the top of the black eye I just did. With the same brush, I'm using the shade Spooky from the James Charles X Morphe palette and blending that on top of the black eye almost to my brow, leaving a bit of a gap, and I'm also setting the black liner on my lid so that it's not two different shades of black. I'm using the James Charles Morphe palette for the rest of the video, just so I don't have to repeat myself and make the video 10 times longer. If my camera angle changes between steps, I'm sorry, I just wanted to film in natural daylight to change it up, but if you prefer studio lighting, let me know. Also ignore the TV playing in the background, I didn't want it to be silent while I was doing my makeup. And if you want to know, I was watching the Divergent series. Next to continue my eyes, I'm using the Kiss Clear Lash Glue and some black and silver holographic star glitters and first applying dots of lash glue on my eye so I can stick on the glitter and letting the glue dry. Mostly I'm applying it in random places, but I do want to place a dot of glue in the inner corner of my eyes one underneath my brow bone, a dot at the very end of the black wing, and one underneath the beginning of my brow. Now I doubt anyone will actually follow this tutorial, but if you do and you never worked with glitter, you could skip this step, but I just want it to be a little extra and add some glitter stars so it could be like the edge of the solar system where there's only darkness and stars. I'm applying the glitter using the tip of a cuticle pusher. Now to add some more stars, I'm using a white Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil to add white dots in between the other stars I added since not all stars sparkle. Now even though you won't be able to see my lashes with all the black on my eye, I still want to curl my lashes and apply mascara and falsies. For mascara, I'm using the e.l.f. Plump It Up mascara and only doing my top lashes for now. The fake lashes I'm using are by Kiss in the style Raven and using the same lash glue from earlier. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and be back to work on my base. For foundation, I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Nude 
and blending it all over my face using my Ellie Colors sponge, which I tried to find online for you guys, but mine came in a brush that I got for Christmas and they don't sell it separately, unfortunately. Even though later on, you won't be able to see my concealer because I didn't plan accordingly. For concealer, I'm using the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer in the shade C10 and applying it under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a bit in the center of my forehead, and a bit on my chin to brighten the center of my face and using the same sponge to blend it. To set the concealer under my eyes, I'm using the e.l.f. Sheer Smooth and Set Eye Powder with the tip of my sponge. I'm not setting the rest of my face so it can remain a bit tacky so the eyeshadow can stick better. Using the Wet n Wild Small Eyeshadow Brush, I'm applying the dark blue, dark purple, and the black eyeshadows named Cola, Escape, and Spooky and I'm randomly splotching it around my nose and on my cheeks and taking it up to my hairline. It's okay if it looks like a mess at first. I'm just building up the colors, adding dimension, and I'm also blending the colors together, but not completely, since I don't want just a black solar system. The purple and blue add some color to the solar system, and this is sort of how the solar system base should look. Now to make the planets, I'm first soaking a q-tip in my cellar water. I'm using the Garnier one, and I'm starting off with the sun and drawing a pretty big circle close to my hairline on my right cheek, using the q-tip and my cellar water, and removing the makeup so I can have a clean surface to dry my sun and the other planets. So that the shadow has something to stick to, I'm drawing a circle using the Jeffree Star Concealer and a Pro Fusion Concealer Brush and leaving a gap between the concealer circle and the galaxy colors so they don't mix together. On the e.l.f. Concealer Brush, I'm applying the yellow shadow named B as a base color for the sun. To add some dimension to the sun, I'm using the LA Colors Angled Eyeliner Brush and the reddish orange color named Rusted and the red color named You're Kidding and randomly placing it on top of the yellow so the sun isn't bright yellow but I don't want to cover up the yellow completely. To make the sun sparkle, I'm adding the Shimmer Copper Colourpop Super Shock Eyeshadow named Let Me Pass on top of the sun using my finger. For Mercury, I'm drawing a pretty small circle next to the sun and using concealer again this time using the e.l.f. Small Smudge Brush. For the base color, I'm using the light blue shimmer shadow named Hello on the same e.l.f. brush. I'm also using the same brush and applying the dark blue shimmer color named Acapella and the purple blue shimmer color named Artistry to add some dimension. Very 
Venus will be about a quarter of the size of the Sun and following the same steps as before. The base color will be white, and I'm using the same white eye pencil from earlier. The different colors I'm using for Venus are the bright orange color named 518, the color from earlier named Rusted, the warm toned dark brown color named Benny, The dark brown color would take up a majority of Venus, but I didn't cover up the white or orange colors completely. Earth will be the same size as Venus, and it's pretty easy. The base color will be the dark blue color named Cola, and for the continents, I'm using the dark green color named Daddy, and for Antarctica, I'm just using the white eye pencil from earlier again. Mars is a bit smaller than Earth, but bigger than Mercury. The base color will be the color rusted, since Mars isn't bright bright red. In the pictures I've seen of Mars, it has a bit of blue, so I'm using the medium blue color named Brother. Now that I have the Sun and the first four planets on one side of my face, to separate them from the other planets, I'm going to add some asteroids on the sides of my nose to be the asteroid belt. The shapes are going to be completely random, and I'm just spreading them out a bit. I'm not going to add any concealer to them, and I'm just mixing the white and black shadows named Flashback and Spooky to get the color gray. Now for Jupiter, it will be about half the size of the sun, and I'm not going to add any concealer, and just going straight in with the white eye pencil as the base color. I'm adding the light skin tone color named Canvas on some parts of Jupiter. I'm using the orange color named 518 for the orange spot that's on Jupiter. And I'm also using the cool toned light brown color named Punch Me. The last color I'm using is the cool toned dark brown color named T. And I'm blending the colors together a bit since I don't want any harsh lines. Saturn will be a tiny bit smaller than Jupiter, but I'm also drawing out the rings on the sides and adding concealer on them too.
The base will be the color named Canvas, and I'm not adding any other colors on Saturn. The rings will be colored with the color named Benny, and I'm connecting them together on top of Saturn. Uranus will almost be as big as Jupiter, and I'm also drawing out its rings, but it will be smaller than Saturn's. The base color will be the bright blue color named Playground and adding cola on some spots to add dimension. For the ring, I'm using the black metallic wet and wild liquid eyeliner named Cosmic Black and the ring will be very thin and I'm also connecting it on top of Uranus. Neptune will be a bit smaller than Uranus, and the base color will be the color named Brother, and I'm also a bit of cola as well. Now I'm including Pluto, even though it's only considered a dwarf planet, because I didn't want it to feel left out. Pluto is even smaller than Mercury, and I'm being careful not to draw any bigger. The base color would be the color named Punch Me, and I'm also adding a bit of tea and a Benny. I want to add stars in between the planets, and I'm first using my cellar water and a Q-tip again, and then using the white pencil from earlier to draw a few dots around the solar system. Like I did with my eyes, I'm using lash glue and letting it dry and adding silver and black holographic glitter stars randomly on my face. Now adding highlighter might seem a little bit pointless, but I'm using the color named Artistry on the bridge and tip of my nose using the small elf brush from earlier, adding some underneath my brow bone, in the inner corner of my eye, and using the same brush to add Artistry on the high points of my cheekbones to add some sparkle to my solar system. For the lower lash line to bring it all together, I'm using the colors that I used for the solar system named Cola and Escape on the Equal Tools Accent Shadow Brush, and I'm smoking out my lower lash line and then bringing the color down to connect with the rest of the solar system. The final step in this tutorial is the lips, and for lip liner, I'm using the Neutral Mauve House Laboratories RIP Lip Liner in the shade Myth, and the Peachy Pink Lariat Lip Gloss in the shade Venus, just so the lips don't clash with the rest of my face. To set my face, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Ghost Heading Spray, and this really long tutorial is complete. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel, watch another video, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. I'll leave links to my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok if you'd like to follow me on there as well. I'll see you on the next video. Adios!